Hi loves, welcome back. For today's video, I am super excited because I have a one brand makeup tutorial featuring Wet n Wild, which is one of my all time favorite brands like ever. I love Wet n Wild and this video is not sponsored by the way. I just thought it would be really fun to come on here and try out a lot of the new products that I've never tried from Wet n Wild, but that I've always seen and was kind of curious to try. I figured it would just be fun for you guys to see like my raw first impression review on everything. And at the end of the video, I do share with you guys some hits and misses, things that I liked, things that I didn't like. So yeah. I hope you enjoy this video and if you want to see how I get this completed look using only wet n wild products then just keep watching okay so starting off with a fresh face of course I have absolutely no makeup on I'm gonna start with my brows first I'm gonna be using these wet n wild color icon brow pencils I don't know if these are new um, I think they are I'm not totally sure I got two shades I got one in blonde and then another one in brunette the blonde one looked a little too light for me and the brunette one looked a little bit too dark so I figured I would get two and kind of combine them to create my perfect shape so I've never tried these I'm really excited I like the fact that they come with a spoolie on the end I'm taking this color which is blonde moments and I'm just gonna start filling them in I always like to start and carve out the bottom of my brow all right so right off the bat this pencil is really really creamy um, it almost has like a waxy consistency on the brows which um, is not my favorite so far because I feel like I like when my pencils are creamy and smooth but when they still are a little bit stiff because then I feel like I have more control over the product on my brows you know what I'm saying do you see how the pencil is already getting dull that's how like creamy the product is so it's very waxy this color is definitely also too light for me, so I'm going to have to use like a little bit of the darker color to kind of balance everything out. So I'm going to use this color, which is brunette to do it better. It's just a dark color, and we'll see. My eyebrows aren't going to be too on point in this video, probably, because I'm using these products. So, Yeah, I don't like this pencil at all. It's really hard to work with. Oh, no, this is not not cute okay okay this is not cute do you see how like melted it looks on the outer edges like I just feel like the product is very waxy so it almost like smears when you apply it and the pencil just keeps going down and down like the product itself you can see it's just very like it melts on the brows it, I don't like also how it's like a pencil and it keeps getting dull as I go because when I try and do my tail, which I like it to be really, really like sharp and pointy at the end, it comes out really like thick and like waxy. It's like the best way I can describe this pencil so far. So I'm going to try and fix these brows and get them to look a little bit on point and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished up my brows and they do not look good. They are very jacked up. I feel like they just look like Bushman eyebrows, like really dark, not cute. I don't want to cheat in this video. I want to just use Wet n Wild so I don't want to like fix my brows with any other products, which I really want to do because they do not look cute at all. But we're just going to go with the flow today. Uh, so I'm going to start with the eyes today. Um, you guys know I always like to typically use a paint pot as a primer or a concealer. So I got this Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. And I'm going to be using this just as my eye primer. I'm going to also use this underneath my eyes later, which I'm excited about. But we're going to prime today with this. So let's see. This is what the packaging looks like, which is cute. I like it. This one, by the way, if you are wondering, is in the shade. What shade did I get? Medium Golden. Oh, this feels very thick on the back of my hand. Super, super thick. So I'm going to use this as a primer today. I don't really know if I want to use this underneath my eyes. That is very, very thick. It reminds me a little bit of the Tarte Maracuja Concealer. It has like that same consistency. Actually, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender because that thing is thick. Perfect. I like that coverage that it gives though. I think this is, if I don't like it for underneath my eyes, I'm definitely going to continue to use this as a primer because I think it's really nice as a primer. 
Okay, so I don't really know what kind of look I want to create today. I think I want to do something really bronzy, brown tones. Like, I really love these little trios by Wet n Wild, so I think I want to use that bronzy shade right there. So what I'm going to start by doing is just going in with my Wet n Wild contouring palette. This one's in Caramel Toffee, and I'm going to be using this color right here, which is the bronzer, in my crease as a transition color. I think I want to do something just really warm and neutral today, so we're going to go with it. I'm using a Sigma E40 blending brush, by the way. I wish I had all Wet n Wild brushes, but I don't, so it's just the makeup that's Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, I hate my eyebrows. Oh, I know you guys hate them too because they look horrid. I also do have this Wet n Wild Au Naturel palette. But I like the bronzy color in the other trio that I just showed instead of this one. This one is more of a light gold and the other one's more bronze. But anyway, I'm going to be taking this shade right here just to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to be using this trio by Wet n Wild. One of my favorites, it's called I'm Getting Sunburned. I'm going to start off with this shade right here, which is, this palette is extremely pigmented and it's like $2.00. I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. It's like a true bronze color. It's stunning. I'm going to take this brush that I got with my Naked 3 palette. I'm going to dip my brush in there. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray just to spritz the brush to give the eyeshadow a very wet look. I've never used this spray. This is the first time, so... I like the way it smells. It's like a very refreshing smell. So I'm going to pack this on. I have used this palette before, by the way. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. I really love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They are the best, I think, at the drugstore, to be honest. At, like When it comes to the price and everything, Wet n Wild takes the win. I like the spritzer of that setting spray. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the frame. I can't tell you guys how many times I've recorded videos and I've not been in focus or I haven't even been recording, so that's why I always gotta make sure. Picking up this brown color right here, I'm gonna apply that on the outer crease. Now I'm gonna warn you right now, if you get this palette, be very careful with this shade. It is so pigmented. Literally, if you dab your brush a little bit, you're gonna get so much product, you have to tap off the excess and be very careful because this thing is dark. So I like to start out with this color and really build it up gradually because the first time I used this palette, I slammed my brush into the palette and then I applied it to my eye and I was like, oh my gosh, it was intense. This is like a deep dark brown. It almost looks black, but it's like a dark brown. Might as well be a black, honestly. It's almost like an off black dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm using um, this brush. This is the... Sigma E25. Picking up the fluffy brush that I was using earlier, I'm going to blend out those edges. Okay, so now I'm going to do my wing, which you guys know Wet n Wild Mega Liner was my absolute favorite, but they changed the formula, they changed the brush, so I no longer like the new formula that they have, and I haven't been able to order it online. I don't think they have the shade black online, so I picked this up, the gel liner. I've never tried it before. It's in the shade Carbon My Reach. Hopefully it's the black shade, um, but that's just what it looks like. The only gel liners that I've tried from the drugstore, I believe, are by L'Oreal Maybelline, and I've tried the Morphe one. And I, I prefer uh, liquid liner over gel, but we're gonna, we're gonna test this out today and see. I used to use gel when I was in high school um, sometimes, and I felt like it was really easy for me, but now I haven't used it in a while, so I feel like doing my liner with gel is a little bit challenging. Okay, it looks really black. That's what it looks like right there comes with this little brush, which I'm going to use. I'm probably not going to be able to do a really good wing today. Oh, okay. It, the black looks really nice so far. I don't like this brush, to be honest. I'm going to use this angled brush by Sigma. It's the E65. This wing is going to be such a fail. Wow. Wing. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to just take my white, kind of just clean that up a little bit.
Okay, honestly, it looks like my boyfriend's doing my makeup right now. Okay, that's the best that I could do. Definitely not my best work with this gel liner, you guys. It's a true struggle. I really do like the eyeliner, though. I just feel like I need a really good brush um, to do it, and I think it can be really good because I like the formula. I like how black it is. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the... What is this called? 80%... Longer lashes. It's just the purple one in very black. And I've never tried Wet n Wild mascaras either. I have actually heard good things about their mascaras. This is what the brush looks like. Interesting. Well, honestly, mascara nowadays does not like nothing for my lashes because my lashes are so short. I feel like they've gotten worse over the years and it's definitely because I wear falsies all the time. Um, I need to like start putting coconut oil on them, but I'm so lazy. I got these lashes. Um, these were like a dollar. I have never tried Wet n Wild eyelashes either, and these are in Shutter Shock. That is what they look like. We'll see how they look. Yeah, these are really, really flimsy eyelashes. Which is pretty normal with a lot of thin, I've tried really thin eyelashes like this and they're really flimsy. See, they're really hard to apply because they just flop all over the place. Really. Okay, so the lashes are on and even though they were really difficult to apply because they are so thin and flimsy, they honestly are not bad at all. They were legit. 99 cents, so I'm pretty impressed with these lashes. I thought they were going to look really like less dramatic and very natural but they're actually pretty long. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild on edge long wearing eye pencil in You're the Yin. Hopefully it's a black shade um, but I'm just gonna be applying that to tight line my upper lashes. Again never tried this before so I'm excited because ooh, that looks like a really nice black eye coal. This always looks so creepy right? All right, so now I can finally move on to the face. I had so many struggles with my brows and my liner, but we're finally moving along. So I'm going to take this uh, Photo Focus Setting Spray. I'm actually going to spritz my face. I feel like it needs a little bit of hydration right now, so let's spritz it. Ooh, I really like the uh, bottle, how it sprays everything. I really like that, and it smells really nice, too. Like, just very fresh. kind of smells like the Urban Decay setting spray so I like that. I'm also going to be using a primer. This is the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. Never tried this either. There's a lot of things from Wet n Wild that I've just never tried before. Supposedly this refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, and evens your skin tone out. So it's like a lotion consistency. We're going to go with it. I like the smell of it. Look very light and fresh. It feels nice on the skin. It's like a lotion consistency, but it's almost has a little bit of like a silicone smooth base in it, like a little bit. Wow, I actually like the way that I made my skin look. I feel like I kind of just like smoothed it out and just made it look like I don't know, refined. I like that so far. I wonder why I've never tried this because it's so so inexpensive. <laughs> I'm a klutz today. I'm like all over the place in this video today. All right, I'm excited about this. This is the Wet n Wild BB Cream. It's eight in one. Conceal, smooth, even skin tone, prime, brighten, hydrate, and controls the oil. We'll see. This one's in the shade medium deep. I think it's going to be a little bit too dark for me, but we're going to make it work. I always make it work, right? I like the packaging of it. I like how it's just a standard squeezy tube. One thing, though, I feel like the drugstore in general needs to come out with things for all skin tones. Like, I feel like they lack with people who have darker skin. Like, I feel like sometimes they don't even have a lot of options at the drugstore. So that's one thing that if I ever come out with my makeup line, I'm having shades galore. Like, shades for everyone. But that is what that looks like. I'm just going to start applying it. And I'm not sure how the coverage is going to be because this is supposed to be a BB cream. Just applying it on my face, it feels really thick. So we shall see. I'm using my beauty blender, by the way. Mmm, this actually does match me. It has a different kind of smell to it. What is that smell? It's like, you know when smells kind of like remind you of something? I can't think of what, but it has that smelly smell that I can't think of. I have a pimple like right up here, which is so annoying. Hmm, actually covered up the redness of that really nice. 
I actually really, really like this BB cream. I feel like the coverage is light to medium. Definitely not a full coverage BB cream, but it's very like natural. It gives the skin just a really pretty natural finish. You see that? I personally really like BB creams. I don't always like a really full coverage foundation, um, especially in the summertime. Sometimes I like something really lightweight, and I really like this so far. I feel like it just really evened out my skin tone and just gave my skin a little bit of an enhancer, like your skin, but better. Um, okay, I'm going to use the same concealer that I used on my lids earlier to correct underneath my eyes. This is the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. Hopefully this is not too thick. I'm going to definitely just apply like one little dot. Wow, one dot. Do you see how like much that covered in one dot? Wow. It actually blended out a lot better than I expected. Definitely reminds me of the Maracuja Concealer by Tarte, except this one blends out so much better than the other one. That really like concealed and brightened my under eye. It looks crazy because it's a little too light, but I'm just going to blend it out the best way I can. I really like that so far, actually. Very, very happy with that. I got this uh, dual-ended contour stick. Again, I've never tried this one before. It's in the shade Light Medium. I think they only have one color. Um, I got all these products at Walmart, by the way, and I only saw one shade of this, which, again, I'm not sure if they have different ones. Maybe just my Walmart didn't have a lot of shades, but the, whoa. The highlight side looks extremely light I don't know if I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes it's gonna be a little bit crazy um, and then the contour side looks looks pretty dark it looks nice looks more of like a cool tone bronzer I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a natural you know contour mm, this is definitely like a ashy kind of contour color which I honestly typically go for more warm bronzers. I feel like they look better on my skin. And I never contour my nose. I always get questions. Why don't you contour your nose? I just honestly don't feel like it's necessary. I actually like my nose. I mean, I, that's why I just never contour it. I just always honestly forget because I just don't think it's necessary. It's not something that I like think about. Wow, this is too white. I want to do an updated highlight and contour video. I will definitely do that for you guys because I know I've been getting questions about that. But I'm going to blend out the white with the Beauty Blender, which, wow. You see how white that was? It really blended into the skin so nicely. I feel like products really blend nicely with that BB cream. I really like it so far. Okay, um, I'm going to blend that out, of course. I'm going to use this Real Techniques. Um, expert face brush. I'm just blending out my nose contour with my nose. I mean, I'm blending out my nose contour with my nose, of course, with my finger, because I feel like it just is easier. I think the contour stick is very natural. I think this is great maybe for um, younger girls. Um, like if you're a teenager or something and you want something just very, very natural. If you want something more intense, this is not for you. I like this. I, the only thing that kind of refrains me from using it a lot on my channel is that I like to use things that everyone can go out and get and try out. And obviously someone who's really tan or a lot darker isn't going to be able to use it. So that's why I don't know if I'm going to continue to use it. I mean, I do like it. Like I said, I just, I wonder if they have more shades. I'm going to have to find out. Um, I'm actually going to use this new powder. This is the Cover All Press Powder. I've never tried this, but I've seen this for years. I'm pretty sure this is not a new powder. But this one's in the shade, what shade is it in? It doesn't have a shade. Okay, I have no idea what color this is in. Oh, it's right in the front. <laughs> this is in the shade Medium which is actually very, very light, as you can see. I'm going to just set my under eye and, like, the areas where I have highlighted. I'm not going to use too much powder today because my skin doesn't really feel that oily. It feels a little bit dry, actually. Okay, I like this powder, too. It's very light. Very, very light on the skin. Like, you can barely tell that I even have powder on my face, which is nice. It gives your skin like a natural powdered finish. 
I'm loving these face products so far, Wet n Wild. I'm going to use the contouring kit. I, You can see I love the banana color, but I wanted to use that other powder because I've never tried it before. But I'm going to use this color right here. This one's in Caramel Toffee, by the way. And I'm just going to kind of touch up that contour that I did and give it a little bit more warmth because I love warmth with my skin. I'm going to use this Up and Up Powder Brush by Target. So I don't want anything too, like, you know, dramatic, but I still want to be very bronzy. I'm going to go in with blush today. I'm going to use two blushes. I kind of want to mix them today. I'm going to use apricot in the middle, which you can see is a gorgeous, like, peachy pink. I just mentioned this in my current favorites. I love this blush. And I want to mix it a little bit with this Heather Silk blush. I don't know why. I just want to use two blushes. This is the old packaging, but they have new packaging by now. The Color Icon blushes I've mentioned before, they are amazing. Like, literally amazing. So, I'm going to use a Wet n Wild stippling brush. So, I'm going to be using the uh, Wet n Wild Illuminating Face Palette. I've never tried this before. So many of you guys told me that I had to try it, that it was amazing. So I'm going to be using these two shades right here. Ooh. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I've never used this before. Oh my goodness, I really, really love that. It's so pretty. It's like intense, but it's not too intense. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I love it. Wow. I'm going to finish up the eyes and then we'll be almost done. <laughs> yeah, my wing is not on point. I like my face makeup, I think, more than my eye makeup today, for sure. I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to smudge it with this brown color right here on my lower lashes. This is an e.l.f. contour brush, by the way. I literally use it in all of my videos. I love it. Um, I'm going to apply some eyeliner. I'm just going to smudge this black one from earlier just on my waterline. I really like this black eyeliner. I don't know how it's going to last throughout the day, but I like it. Okay, last but not least, the lips, of course. I have this lip liner. This was only a dollar. It's in Willow. Look how big it is. Wow, this thing is huge. Do you see that? It's like as long as like my neck. Wow, that's a... I actually really like that color. For 99 cents, I love it. It's actually really, really creamy. I'm going to use this, which I'm really excited about, the Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. These are new, I believe. This one is in the shade I Can Bear It 932A, so doesn't really have much of a smell. Kind of matches the lip liner. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I love that color! Uh, very creamy. The formula is very, like, liquidy creamy. I wonder if they're going to dry matte. This was like $2.93, like $3. It's drying, but it feels a little bit sticky. You know what I mean? Alright, so I wanted to share with you guys just a quick rundown of like hits and misses, things that I liked and didn't like from what I tried today. So to start off, the brow pencils. Girl, I don't like these at all. Um, I feel like the formula is just so hard to work with. I don't like the consistency of them. I don't like the moussey texture that it leaves on my brows. It's just, they're just not good. I mean, they're only $2, but I feel like if you were to use these on an everyday basis, you're going to be spending $2 like every other day because these run out so quick. You have to keep sharpening them, which I'm just not a huge fan of. Another thing that I wanted to mention that I wasn't a huge fan of was the mascara. I feel like it didn't really do much for me. I mean, like I mentioned, my lashes are not the best to begin with, but I feel like sometimes my bottom lashes, they can be pretty long and I can get them to look pretty long, but with this, they were like pretty much transparent, like nothing was there. So not good for me. Another thing that I wanted to mention was the eyeliner. I did like the eyeliner, but I didn't like the brush that comes with it you guys saw I struggled so much to do my wing it does not look good at all I made it work a little bit but for the most part I like liquid liner better I really wish Wet n Wild would come back out with the original mega liner with the old formula with the old brush it was amazing it was like my baby I mean I have other liners that I really like but I feel like that is just like my top like my all-time favorite you can get it online but I feel like come on just bring it back to the drugstore so I feel like if I get a good brush with this and I keep practicing I can get a good wing with it because I do like the formula of this eyeliner as for the lashes that I'm wearing they're not my favorite but they're not awful they're only 99 cents 
so I figured they were going to be a lot worse, honestly, um, when I actually applied them. Um, they were very difficult to apply because they were really flimsy. As you saw, they're very thin, but they're not as bad as I thought. They're just not lashes that I'm going to be repurchasing, you know what I mean? But they're okay for $0.99. Cents. Another thing is the liquid lipstick. I love this color. You guys saw I was like so shocked about it because the color is so gorgeous. However, I don't know if you can really see, but in the inner rim of my lip, it's kind of like balling up. And it's like chunky, dry crumbs of the liquid lipstick, which sucks because I love this color so much. My lips weren't really dry beforehand. I mean, I didn't exfoliate them, but they didn't really feel dry. Maybe if I exfoliate them, it'll be better. I did apply a few layers of this, so maybe you don't need that many layers of this over top. I don't know. I'm going to keep testing it out because I love this color. Um, but the formula seems pretty nice. Other than that, like, it doesn't seem dry. It's only, like, in the inner rim of my lips. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. For the most part, though, I feel like I liked a lot more things than I didn't like. I love all the face products that I tried. The primer, the setting spray, the BB cream concealer. I thought the concealer I wasn't going to like because it seemed very thick. But once I blended it out, I feel like I blended out a lot better than expected. And it looks really nice. So I love everything. Um, the contour stick, the only thing, like I mentioned, is I wish they had darker shades. If they had more shades, I think this would be a win because I really do like the formula of it and I think it just gives you a very natural contoured look. So yeah, the lip liner I was super impressed with also. This was only 99 cents and I love it. It was super creamy and it just glided on my lips a lot better than expected. And their eyeshadows, I've used them before, obsessed with them. Um, very great quality if you're looking for great eyeshadow palettes. Their blushes, again, other things that I've tried before and I really love them. Uh, what else? Oh, the black eyeliner. I love this black eyeliner. I don't know how well it's going to last on my waterline, uh, but so far, so good. It's super black, super creamy. Um, oh yeah, this... Uh, highlighting palette I really love. I feel like the face products that I tried today, um, the highlighter, the uh, BB cream, the powder, everything gives the skin a very natural finish, which I think this is great for summer. If you just want something very lightweight, just very clean, fresh, and pretty, I think these products are going to be really nice for the skin. I'm very impressed so far. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it down below and let me know what other brand you guys want me to do a one brand tutorial on. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave all the products that I use listed below if you're interested. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.